Hello, Ralph Devella back. I want to show you an exercise that I got from Carmine Caruso. Now these exercises are called the spider webs. So it's actually a three part exercise. First part is called spider webs down. Second part is spider webs up. And the third part is the spider webs. This is a great warm up. And this is a great way to reach the lower notes and the higher notes from the, all from this, the middle G setting. So let me show you, uh, put, the, put the spider webs up on the screen. You can look at them and then we can play them together. So this is the first one that we're going to look at. This is the spider webs down. So it's going to start on G. All three of these exercises will start on G and that would be your bass note which is a nice relaxed note to play on the trumpet. And then we're going to weave our way down all the way to the low G. I'm probably going to want to write this down uh, in order for you to be able to do it. It's hard to do in your head at first. So uh, you stop the camera, write it down. And uh, this is a great exercise for uh, achieving the low notes, uh, especially you know off a setting that you don't have to change the setting to get to the low notes. And it's a good warm up. So uh, let's play this exercise together. It's played, uh, it's played slowly, and it can be played faster too, but we'll do it at a, at a medium speed. Okay, let's play it together. On this exercise, we're going to tongue the first note and then slow the rest. If we run out of air, then we'll do the same thing. We'll just pick it up from where we ran out of air. So that's the exercise. Now you can slow it down. It's okay to slow it down. That's not the point. Or you can get you know do it a little faster, have some fun with it. But get the fingering and the idea of it first before you change it. I would say play it maybe a little bit slower than that. So also a good exercise to uh, if you're having trouble with any of your low notes. So let's say you get to a point where you have a little trouble with that note coming out. Here's what you can do. trouble with that low A there. You can stop and do this. with this but just play straight and don't worry too much if you how, how well you hit them or don't hit them and then after that you can work on that so now the next exercise this exercise again is for it helps you warm up and it helps you get achieve these lower notes with the middle G setting all right so the next exercise we're going to do is the spider webs up which is the same thing to help you achieve the higher notes with the middle G setting so let's do that next let me put it up on the screen for you Now these are the spider webs up, and I wrote on here the reasons that you play it. You know, of course, this is part of your warm up. Uh, if you go to a job, it's one of the quick, you know, quick, quick ways to warm up, and it sets up, sets up the playing in the higher notes from the from the G setting. So this we're going to weave our way up, all the way up to G. So same thing with this. I think you should write it down. Stop the camera, and then uh, you know, pause it and write it down. All right, so um, let's uh, play this one together. All right, this exercise, same thing. We're going to tongue the first note and then slur the rest. If you run out of ear, you just pick it up from where you take your breath, pick it up from where you run, run out of ear. I would breathe in through my nose and pick it up that way. Okay, 
So that's the spider webs up. <clears throat> now next we're going to we're, we're going to do the spider webs, is which we're ultimately trying to get to. It's, it's fine to do these two though, also on their own. So now we're going to do the spider webs, which is a combined version of the two. This is the spider wave webs, which is a combined version of the spider webs down and the spider webs up. This is a little bit of a difficult exercise, but <clears throat> this is what we want to get to. So we're starting on the G, and then we're going to see we're going to go up, we're going to go down a half step, up a half step, and you'll see how it works when we play it together. But again, on this, you know, eventually, or just to say, eventually we get down all the way to the low G, to the G, and to the G. So again, with this, stop the ca stop the camera, put it on pause, and uh, write it down. You're going to want to keep this exercise, and this is a great way to warm up and to set your embouchure playing from the middle from this from the G on the line on G on the staff to the G below the staff the G above the staff and it'll set you up to, to play all the rest of your notes on the trumpet um, let's play this one together now and again we don't have to play fast we could we could play it with you know, variable speeds after you get good at it after you get the fingerings down but uh, most of the time I'm going to play that at a medium speed even in warming up When we play this exercise, we tongue the first note, we slur the rest like we've been doing, run out of breath, I would breathe in through my nose, and complete the exercise. This is a great exercise. This is an uh, exercise Carmen Crusoe made me do um, for years. Um, this got you know better and better at it. Helps keep you from moving the mouthpiece. You know, feel you feel you feel comfortable with that setting of G on the line, whether you're playing up down up or you're playing down. So that's the, one of the purposes of this exercise. Also a great warm-up so you can cover the range of the trumpet. Let's play it together. the exercise so um, I wouldn't worry too much if you make mistakes or if you can't get the notes out perfect and all that that's what practice practicing is for so I would enjoy that exercise that's one of the staple exercises and I think that will do a lot for you quickly that was the uh, spider web exercises spider webs down spider webs up and the spider webs which combine the both of them so do that you know it, it doesn't take long to do and it doesn't really take that much out of you, but it's not easy to do. So enjoy doing it. Um, if you notice, I don't really tell you how to do it. Like, you know, set this, move your lip, put your lip here, put your tongue there. Uh, you do it the way you naturally do it, or the way your teacher tell, t tells you, you know, how you should play. Or maybe someday in the future we could talk about, you know, you know how, how you set your armature and all that. But I don't want to throw you off by thinking too much. Just do it naturally, the way you naturally play. Or the way a teacher suggests. Okay, so Ralph Devello, back with Carmine Caruso, one of his exercises, and I'll be you know putting these exercises out, various exercises that he gave me every so often, maybe once or twice a month. So uh, subscribe to the channel, and you get notified when uh, when his exercises come out. And I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed uh, presenting it to you. Thank you very much.